guys, so it's that time of the month where we do my monthly favorites. You guys know the drill. These are shows, movies, products, and basically just random things that I love. My favorite book is Good Vibes, Good Life by Vex King. You guys know I love Vex King's like writing and work on Instagram and I've spoken about him earlier as well. I was really, really waiting for his book to come. It got delayed and then like I got better and I got busy and I didn't read it for a while. Finally, finally read it. You know, I heard a lot of people say it's life changing and things like that on Instagram. And I have to say it is. What I love about it is it's a self-help book without being preachy. It's very real, it's very candid and it makes you want to be a better person. So definitely, definitely read this if you haven't. Up next, we have a beauty favorite. Now this is something I would have actually never bought myself. It's the MAC Prep and Prime Lip Primer. So it's like a balm basically that you put before you put lipstick. It really, really helps if you have like dry and chapped lips, which I do and you don't want any color sometimes. Like I have a lot of lip balms, but they're not clear. This is really great even like under matte lipsticks and things like that. It really helps your lipstick last longer and keeps your lips like hydrated. So yeah, this is not something I would have normally gone and bought. I think it came to me with a lot of MAC stuff and I just happened to use it one day and I was like, wow. So yeah, I've been using this a lot under a lot of my lipsticks lately, especially when I get ready and do like a evening look or I'm wearing like, like heavier, thicker lipsticks. This works really well. Then we have Rose Hip Oil. Now this is by a company called Olive, which is at Sephora. I think you guys remember the launch that I was at. Uh, I'm not someone who usually uses oil on my face because I already have oily skin and I always thought it would not work for me to be honest with you. But this is amazing. So the last uh, month actually I was breaking out a lot and I wanted to change things up and I thought I'm going to add this to my routine because I'd heard that rosehip oil is great for like your skin. So I just take a couple of drops of this after I shower at night and just pat it onto my face and then put my moisturizer on afterwards. So not like, you know, you wouldn't put this on like a serum or like you put your cream, just a couple of drops, put it on your palms and then just pat it into your skin. And it really, really works wonders. Like I've used this for just a month and I've seen a huge difference in my skin. So I've been loving this. You guys know I'm an Apple geek and Apple obsessed person. I got the new AirPods, which I love. So I live with my AirPods um, all the time. So this is basically me pretty much through most of the day whenever I'm working. And then I tap to give Siri commands like, Siri call mom. Siri change the song. Next song. and. This is basically my new friend. These are the new wireless charging ones, which means they can charge wirelessly as well. And they're just really, really convenient. I just feel like AirPods have changed my life. So if you have a lot of Apple products like me, like a Apple Watch, uh, an iPad and a Mac, what the AirPods do is they kind of sync everything with Bluetooth so I can wear my AirPods and then just use them across devices through the day so I don't have to like change them or unlink or unpair. And they're just so small and perfect. Like I just throw these into my bag and I have them all the time. Okay, up next is my favorite movie. So my favorite movie is a Netflix movie. It's called The Legend of Cocaine Island. And uh, it's bizarre. It's, it's, it's a true story and it's one of those uh, I don't know what you like docu reality movies and it's just insane how this happens and you feel for the guy like you're like I would have done what he did and you kind of feel bad for him in the end but then you know it's wrong and I don't want to tell you guys a lot about it but yeah if you have Netflix check it out. So yes, Sucker is my new favorite song. I am obsessed with this song. This is by the Jonas Brothers. I absolutely love it. And um, I just feel like it's really cool. Like the whole video was really fun to have like their, their wives and girlfriends in it. And I just thought it was just a fun video. The song is really catchy and it's just got that cool 90s vibe. Like if you were a kid in the 90s, you know what I mean? It's, it's got that vibe and you enjoy it. So yeah, that's my favorite song. Up next, we have a food favorite. So mangoes are in season and obviously mango is 
a favorite but there's this dessert i've started making with mango which is so 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 good like you guys have seen in my videos and on my instagram it's basically just chia seeds coconut milk and like pieces of mango it's super healthy to eat and it's so yummy and i have it pretty much every night like this is like become a ritual so all through the summer this is what i've been eating and loving for my favorite part of my favorites videos my favorite shows okay number 1 has to be delhi crime absolutely absolutely really really enjoyed this show um uh, it's pretty hard hitting uh yeah there are a few things that i felt were a little unrealistic and you you can of course you know point those things out if you want to but i did really really enjoy the show and i think it was really good like i don't normally watch a lot of hindi content and i know a lot of you guys comment saying i should do more hindi stuff but i don't really watch a lot of hindi content but i watched delhi crime and i loved it so check that out then we have one of my favorite santa clarita diet they had a new season out and it is just so funny like you would never think a show about like zombies or people killing people and eating them would be so funny uh, like they are always so graphic but this is like funny but graphic and yeah it's definitely one of my favorite shows on netflix check that out then we have selling sunset again which is in that fake reality space where there are all these uh, you know brokers and they're selling these high end mansions in uh, like beverly hills and blah blah and it's it's one of those cheesy reality shows if you're into those i am and i enjoy watching them which is why i kind of really liked it and yeah it was it was one of those shows you just watch when you're really bored and it's entertaining then we have huge in france which is a new addition on netflix again it's this show about a french comedian who comes to america to be with his son and ex-wife and um it's again really funny like a different kind of humor and you you will quite enjoy it like i found it really funny i really enjoyed that one and last but not the least we have jane the virgin uh you guys have been following me watching jane the virgin i think for since my first few favorites videos so yeah this is the final season who else is watching comment below now coming to hot star okay game of thrones is back guys i mean I woke up at 6 a.m. and I went for a screening of the first episode with Hotstar to watch this. If you, that's how much I love Game of Thrones, and I've been loving it. I hate that there's just one episode a week because I would have watched all in one day and been like, now what do I do? Life is over. Game of Thrones is over. But this is again the final season, and I don't know what's going to happen to us after this is done. Like, how are we going to live without Game of Thrones? Last but not the least is of course one of my favorites this is us um every season just kind of like tugs on your heart like that show makes me cry like every time i watch it i'm like no and i just love the way they play with the edit like they go into the past and they come into the like you know even though like characters are dead they just keep reappearing because they go back and forth and i love that because you don't forget those guys like there's that still that connection and um, it just really tugs with your heart in a way that no other show does so yeah if you're an emotional wreck and that's the kind of show you want to watch watch this is us so guys these were my april favorites comment below with your favorites from the month shows food items movies songs anything see you guys bye